Hey, bruh. I just got done gooning, and that reminded me of this stepbrother, stepsister anime. And I was like, oh, yeah, I should make a part two to that. We open up episode two with seeing that the class has a fitness test, right? So then, bro, who's trying to get at bro? Sister walks up to the main character. He's like, it was good, cuh. And he tries to pair up with him, right? He's like, oh, yeah, this fitness test, cuh. Me and you, let's get through this together. And then the main character's like, you befriending me, don't mean you get to fuck my sister, cuz You a player ass nigga. You not getting near my sister. But he claims that's not his intentions and he just simply wants to be friends. And then he tells him to turn around and when he turns around, he sees his stepsister and his stepsister is stunned because of what he said. And then we go later into the day, right? And they're measuring the physicals of people, right? So they're measuring the girl's chest. And then there's this girl, I forgot her name, I ain't gonna lie. And she's just looking at Yumi's chest, I think that's how you say her name. And that stuns her, and she's like, oh, my bad, cuz I'm just jealous that you got big titties and I don't. But she tries to reassure her, right? She's like, oh, no, it's not that much bigger than yours. Mine's aren't that big. We then go to right before the test, right? And the girl from before is complaining about the test, like, oh, nigga, every year we have to do this bullshit. And then when the test begins, she's actually pretty good at it. So that led Yumi to believing that she was bad. So she's like, oh, why were you complaining if you're good? She's like, eh, just because I was complaining doesn't mean I'm not good. So then it's Yumi's turn, right? Yumi's like, oh, I'm finna fucking suck, cuz I gotta do something to maintain my reputation at school. And then she looks over and sees the main character, right? Her stepbrother doing sit-ups. And then he just stops mid-sit-ups and is like, yeah, nigga, I'm not trying no more. So then she starts to do the jump. She does it and she did pretty well and then we see her do different exercises right sit-ups and then at the end of it they do a race and she gets absolutely smoked well not smoked but she did get beat anyway after the race right they're having a conversation and then her ass finna pass out but she's luckily saved by her stepbrother and her stepbrother tells her to be careful and then gives her back to her friend and then we cut to them in the nurse's office and her friend apologizes if she made her feel like she had to push too hard or whatever but then Yumi's like nah nigga I'm just sorry at sports but that actually makes her friend feel closer to her because for some reason she looked at her as some type of goddamn goddess or some shit. But anyway, that conversation got them so close that she wants to call her by her actual first name, which is Yume, I think. And then she calls her Yume, right? So Yume wants to return the energy, but she can't. But her friend is fine with that because she realizes that they just became friends. The next day at school, Yume is not there and her friend is freaking out asking the main character, like, cuz, where my homie at? And then the nigga that wants to get at his sister's cheeks walks up and he's like, hey, come Calm down, cuz. And then her friend calls him out. He's like, you're only friends with this nigga because you're trying to get with his sister. But he denies those claims. He's like, I'm not a pursuer with love. I'm more of a watch and see what happens. We fast forward to after school and we see the main character and Yume's friend walking together, right, to his house. And then she's asking him questions about her and his relationship, right? It's like, oh, what is it like living together, right? Have you ever tried to walk in on each other? And then he says no when she calls that goddamn boring. Uh, it squeezed me, nigga? Anyway, they get to the house. She's like, okay, this is my friend lives, right? They walk in, and then Yume is asleep, right? So then she slightly opens her eyes and only sees the main character. So then she's like, where were you? She started talking to some goddamn seductive voice. She's like, where were you? I was lonely, right? But then she brings up that her friend is there. She's like, oh, shit. And then she exits horny mode. It's like, oh, I appreciate you coming here to check up on me and all that. And then she's like, oh, yeah, I brought you some food. I'm going to go cook it for you. And while the character and her cooking right they having some conversations she's then like oh when you get a girlfriend won't it be weird when you bring her around and she's here right and then he's like oh, i don't get a girlfriend because i get no bitches but she says because of the way he acts around women that she can tell that he's had a girlfriend before she then asks if he's gonna tell her when he gets a girlfriend and she's like i don't need her approval and then i guess she's just gonna have to find out until he get married anyway she feeds her what she made and after she gets done eating she's getting ready to leave right so then the main character walks her out the door, right? They have a little conversation, and then she's gone. So he walks back in, and you may like, oh, you and my friend got real alone. Y'all cook rice together and all this other stuff, right? And then he's like, oh, so are you saying that you don't want your friend to cook with me? She then asks him not to leave her again, and then he's like, I'm not gonna leave you. And then she brings up something from the past about when he did leave her. So he puts his hand out, I guess to hold her hand, but then she grabs his hand and then puts it on her goddamn breast. And then we get more background as to their breakup right so yeah at first it was a deep love right they couldn't get enough of 
each other, but then gradually as they had more disagreements, they eventually pulled apart. And then came that fateful day where he walked in and found out that the girl that his dad was getting with was his ex's mom. He's still beside her, right? And he's like, okay, can I take your temperature, right? Because you've been sick this whole time. You keep asking me for favors because I need to see if you're recovering. So then she's like, no, you don't need to check my temperature. But he ends up checking it and finds out that she was bluffing majority of the time. So she apologizes, right? And he forgives her. And right before he leaves, she says, don't you ever abandon me ever again. Which again, I don't know what that means. Maybe we'll get more background on that later. And then the episode ends. Now I get uh, the step sibling thing is extremely weird, but this is actually probably the least weird uh, out of all of them. Not because there's not weird scenes and not because I feel like it's okay to do. It's mainly because that they already had romantic feelings before it was they were actually a couple. 